Welcome to the Cult Kitchen! On today's episode, we have a little segment we like to call Vintage Chef. Today we will be making a tuna fish mold right out of the 50s. This is finally the first gelatin fish dish we will be making. And we even got a fish mold, so nice. we're going to get to it here, folks. Cold kitchen, let's do it. Finally, we got a jello and fish thing. They called everything a salad back then. If it had jello in it, it was a salad. If you put things on a plate, it was salad. It was a salad. Just called tuna fish mold. Tuna fish mold. We should give it a name of, of like the times, like tuna uh, davis jr <laughs> or like you know first step we're gonna do here is get our tomato soup heating up now the recipe specifically called for a double boiler to heat your soup wait what i think heating technology has come a long way since then so i'm just gonna rely <laughs> on my pot here <laughs> my pan to heat the soup up yeah spank it spank it <laughs> I'm gonna assume this is the correct size. They didn't really tell you the like, like the hold you the recipe call tells you the size of everything except the tuna can or not the tuna but the soup can. Uh, second step, we want to bloom our gelatin. Two envelopes of gelatin in some cold water. Blooming gelatin. You can get that at the Outback Steakhouse too. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do. Uh, is add all of our, the start of our ingredients. We'll call these the wet ingredients. So. Six ounces of cream cheese right in there. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Ooh. <laughs> what kind of color are you trying to make it pink? <laughs> pink. What? What? Mayonnaise? One a cup. I would hope mayonnaise is white. <laughs> Any other color. Nope. I suppose there's sriracha mayo. The nice thing about this is, aside from the gelatin, this is gonna slide right through us. And then now we're actually gonna add our gelatin mix. Gelatin. <laughs> Holy crap, that is... <laughs> that has turned into something. It's mashed potatoes, mm-hmm. What have you I done? It, it asked for two envelopes. <laughs> Maybe gelatin's gotten stronger since the year 1942. <laughs> and then we have our A1. A1. How fish mold is done. <laughs> and then blend together very well. It's bolded. How well you have to blend this together. Yeah, vigorously. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> and then we just let it cool. We let it cool a while before we add the rest of our stuff. We've let our mixture cool, and now we're gonna add the dry ingredients. The moist ingredients. <laughs> yeah. We got a cup a finely chopped celery that uh, Wero chopped for us. Two tablespoons of finely chopped onion, a mix of a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper. Dash, 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 dash. And then finally our main ingredient, about 12 ounces of canned tuna. Don't that shit, bro. Don't. I want to pour tuna over my elbows. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a very strong, strong smell. It smells interesting, all right. And then we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and pour it in our mold here. I think we actually have a little bit too much mix for the size of this mold, but that's all right. We were never gonna eat all this anyways. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we got just enough. Maybe we got just enough. Oh yeah. It kind of smells like a tuna sandwich that you just blended together. Mm, I don't know. It smells like ceviche gone wrong. <laughs> so we got our fishy. That's so delishy. We're going to put it in the fridge to solidify, and then we're going to eat some delicious tuna fish mold. <laughs> Yep, it's solid. It is definitely solid. Is that gonna come out of there? With I you? probably not. Did you grease it? No. Oh, you didn't grease it. Good fish. 
He's uh, happy! He is. Look at how he happy he is! He looks like kind of a happy little dude. <laughs> uh, or maybe he's just wincing. Maybe that's a grimace of pain. They don't really give you serving suggestions other than to create a sauce out of mayonnaise and A1. <laughs> which this is basically made out of, so... Sure, I made some anyways. Here we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put it on the fish. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fill his little eyelet. <clears throat> <laughs> there you go. If you want some sauce, now you know where to find it. Take some tuna belly. That's where the, the fats are. Yeah. We'll yeah. Get that. We'll get those omega nines. Put it right here on my cracker. <laughs> Just dip it in my sauce. <laughs> So, my main question here is just why? <laughs> why go through this whole setup if you're just going to create a thing that tastes like tuna salad? That you just mix mayonnaise and tuna together? That is predominantly what it tastes like. Mayonnaise and tuna. With a little tanginess from the A1. And the salary to me is really just kind of getting in the way. Because you got sort of a nice creamy, you know, tuna salad there. And then like, chunk, chunk. Uh, let's just try some by itself. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right texture of anything. Okay, when you eat it by itself, you can definitely taste a lot more of the cream cheese. <laughs> Even on crackers, it's a little bit much. Even if you made like a tuna salad sandwich with a nice slice of cheese on there, almost made a tuna melt, like maybe that would turn out okay. But there is a ton of production put into this. And then all you get is this? You get this fucking thing? Like, what's the point? It's like, sure, tuna salad's a thing. People eat tuna salad. But what if it looked like an actual fish? <laughs> You're the one who did that. No, that's what the recipe wants. <laughs> really? The recipe yeah. itself was selling fish-shaped tins. Oh. Yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. Some of that hit <laughs> the crock pot. The croc? We were there? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, come on now. Ah. That's like tuna fish. <laughs> like, what was like? the point? Like, that one's kind of <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what was the point of putting, like, the tomato... Uh, I forgot I had that in there. It doesn't yeah. taste like it at all. There's no, there's no tomato soup in that. That's a whole can of tomato soup. It just tastes like tuna fish. <clears throat> I don't know, whatever. You had way too much time on your hands, 50s. Okie doke. Hey! Oh, you fucked up. God damn it. You fucked up. Why can't you make your crackers right? <laughs> make sure to get some of that dipping sauce. Yeah. Boop. That's where the magic is. Is it? Mayonnaise and A1? <laughs> we call that magic now? I don't like that. <laughs> There's just enough things there. Like diluting the tuna fish that's not tuna fishy enough but it is it's like but i'm hinting at you that it's tuna fish you know it's like that's wrong that's wrong it's like it's like if somebody spilled like three t tablespoons of urine in your cereal or something and you're like you know some in here is just diluting the good taste of cereal and milk and it's just wrong and it's bad and it's off and i don't quite know what it is and then yeah and then the the ground opens up and you learn <laughs> you're eating urine. <laughs> what was in this? Are you trying to say there's urine in this? Because what was there, in this? there is. <laughs> oh, damn it. You need you need something better in there to go with your tuna fish, you know? Celery is just a very strong, crunchy, watery thing, and it's 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 just, you know, unpleasant. And it doesn't work well in here either. I, don't, I can't tell you what does work well. I can taste the A1 in there somewhere, <laughs> and it's just not right, you know? 
Uh, it doesn't go with tuna fish or any of the other things. Everything leading up to like five minutes down the road aftertaste is, is terrible. Like where I'm at right now, the aftertaste is okay. But you don't want to go through that struggle to get there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, sorry, fishy. I'm a, I'm a big proponent to fit the seafood and fish, but not that little guy. Mm -hmm. He can just keep on swimming. So thank you so much for joining us for Vintage Chef, where we created a fish out of fish, and it tasted nothing like fish. <laughs> Remember to uh, like, comment subscribe remember to check out all of our social media because there's tons of it check out my twitch channel 5 p.m to midnight wednesday through friday sunday monday and uh we'll catch you guys next time boom